Ooh. Hello, YouTubers! My name's Willie. Welcome to my channel. Today, I have for you reaction request video 146 Behemoth Part 3. Yeah, no, I, I don't have Behemoth Part 3 because uh, it's not finished yet. And um, I'm sure over time it'll get finished, or maybe it won't. Uh, that's really not up to me to say. Um, but I figured since I had this slot for Elpheus's stuff, why don't I react to two of his popular uh, in his popular views list? And that is uh, close combat with the Tau. As it looked real nice and short, and the inheritor. So let's check this out. Three, two, one, play. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, that was, I, I, uh, okay, so from what I could tell, it was a mock on the Tau's inability to fight, um, yeah, and basically showing that it's nothing really all that powerful going up against the Astartes. Definitely got some moves though, with the high kicks. But uh, you're not gonna get through that power armor very easy doing that. Okay, the inheritor in three, two, one, play. Kronos, Templum, the. It went by a little too fast for me, but I'm a little bit slow Soon. there. Soon the consecration will be upon us and our labors for the field. Glory is undreamed of and rewards everlasting shall be ours. Oh yeah? Now is the greatest moment of our lives. Now our service shall be renewed and our efforts redoubled that we might herald the epoch of changes. An wow, this is long-winded. <laughs> it ruins a dedication to the abyssal situates. Five hundred worlds drowned in blood, scored by fire in revenge for fair monarchia. I thought the first guy was a frame from drama queen, but damn. Remember your role here? What? Waving around this shitty flag, keeping my mouth shut and taking orders like some marmot housemaid? Wow. Brought to your swift <laughs> aptitude for learning, my friend. <sighs> you seem perversely enthusiastic about this inheritor. It is like your codpiece could burst open at any moment. Uh. <laughs> your apprehension of the primordial truth seems to have granted you the power of a mind reader, Brother Yoth. Hold a moment. Supposedly the ones to have led us to battle here were you, the world bearers. Word bearers. Ah, same shit. Ha! <laughs> red fanatic marines led the taking of this whole planet while we, the word eaters. World eaters? Shut the fuck up, you fucking <laughs> words! As I was saying, we carried out this entire fucking operation for you. 
And now we discover that all this murderously bloody labor was done to attain a giant pile of rocks and bones? Could we please get some form of fucking explanation? What is the purpose of this heap? Very simple. It takes the energies of the other realm and spirals them through a complex system of decantations and alphanumerical misty rhythms. Until what? it creates a condensed immaterial formwork derived from quarto potentials bonded to a semi scaling decline rift. What? It's a big teleporter. Oh. Bam! Why would we need one, though? <laughs> the enforcements are utterly unnecessary. You already have 200 men ready and able, and we have over a thousand. For the reason that Kronos is a step, a means to a greater end. When the Abyssal Situlate comes before us, we shall be ushered into the New Dawn. Forget the petty ambitions of the symbol conquest, Ares. All of the Emperor's domain shall be- Fuck your stupid words! Fuck your incessant murder of said words! And fuck your attempts at sounding all epic when you're talking about some magical garbage pyramid! Just when do we get to kill shit again?! Soon enough, your thirst shall be quenched, Ares. The Ultramarine should be carrying out a counter-assault in a desperate attempt to reclaim this world shortly. Nice. Here it is, brothers! These foul traitors think they can outmaneuver us! That's us! what the heck of hell! The Ultramarines! The greatest! Fuck. The greatest of them all! <sighs> oh, they will be greatly disappointed when we shove our 500 warriors right in their heretical little faces! Okay, drop pods, drop pods. No ultramarines! Courage and none! Whoa. On! 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 Slaughter them all! <laughs> battle force of those haughty Parisians known as the Ultramarine shall soon enter our domain. Yes, I know! Traitor spotted! Loyalist, stumble upon me and cease! Charge them all, brothers! <gasps> wow! Now, Acton! Emoria Sanguinella! What a What? What? I didn't catch any of that. Anywhere like that without some sort of warning. I do not know what in the nine slimy gates of super hell happened. I was quiet for sipping on the soul of this adorable little baby. Wanna go before I kick you with me iron fucking feet? And then you <laughs> Allow me to remind really? you of a brisk but crucial detail concerning rituals. You do every step flawlessly. Now repeat after me, Emoria Magisteria Sanguinea. Emoria Magicanus! Give me that accursed cloth stick. Pardon us, great mistress. We do not intend on troubling you with trifles like these. Could you perhaps give us the honor of speaking with the Horizon? Oh, of course. I can get in touch with him right this instance. Oh, lobby. These final words would like to have an audience with you. 
What the fuck? Give me a minute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the sweet shade of the other world. Don't overdo it. Eliphas, what cause brings you to disturb me in this awkward fashion? Coronas, revered lord, we beg for your indulgence upon this place so that you may witness our sacred slaughter. Bless us with your mighty presence and command- That is not an order anymore, deadbeat. For ah. how long have you been here? Isolated from any communication, to make ready this fuckfest. I gave word that all our forces and expeditions were to reassemble on the Road of Stars, to follow the Primus Navaklacha, and travel to the recall point on Tarsaron. But, but what of our work here? The Great Pyre, the Five Hundred Worlds? I don't give and haven't given a single unholy shit sandwich about this little <laughs> side quest for years, Eliphas. Obey. Eliphas. Well, this is... what's the word? Awkward? Yes, awkward. This is horrifically awkward. The most awkward kind of awkward. Right. But we STILL get to keep this world and the whole cathedral thingy. Dibs on the blood soreness! Oh, come on! Not fair! And thus, <laughs> we built this massive Templum fucking game in Archaea for the sole purpose of a bunch of religiously challenged lunatics being given the leisure of chillin' in blood saunas. Delightful! Thanks for fucking nothing, <laughs> Why do you keep calling that fuckwit Inheritor? Oh, it's a fun but really awkward story. See, he managed to claim command of our battle force, the Ark of Testimony, through some incredibly disgraceful grok shit. During the Purge, he slew our previous chapter master in cold blood and took his place. Logar, however, nice. did not elevate Eliphas, saying that he merely inherited his command. He never actually earned his <laughs> place, and we will never let him forget it. Fuck you. You do realize <laughs> that the stupidest part of that story isn't the fact that he murdered your previous leader, but that your dumbass of a Primarch gave him the right to inherit the rank in the first place. I mean, what if your leader actually slipped on some staircase and broke his neck and Eliphas just claimed the kill? It's okay to admit you're all dumbasses, you know. Fuck <laughs> you! Our previous leader was noble and hospitable! We liked him! He even gave me a free copy of the first heretic book! Eliphas is no more than a puny, arrogant, treasonous dumb- And then let's just say I- Inherited the title of Massive Cunt Who Talks Too Much. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Hmm. So, let me tell you a surprisingly logical world data chapter. Shortly after, the Ultramarines led an even greater assault toward Cronus. Ares and his forces did not survive the second wave. But he did oh. thankfully make an excellent meat shield before his demise. Meat the shield. Last, just after my escape, <laughs> that door suddenly tracked for a millennia and a round of pure torture. Incident happened. So all that fuss and all the knife inheritance, the Black Testament related to you, it was all made of bullshit. Well. That inheritor title is far less bad as what it used to be now that I've heard that story. Why did you even give it? Oh, I thought it sounded kinda cool. 
despite its somewhat anticlimactic origin. Oh, oh. I'm nice. not sure what to make of this piece of love, but I sure do feel like drenching myself in the blood of Salvador as to cleanse my mind from the mansion of Indefell. Whatever floats your boat, old friend. You could probably use a bath too. Amy, calm down that massive fucking loud upon our account for Kronos. I can not carry a grudge against the events on Kronos, King. <laughs> yeah, right, Ellie. And I'm queen of modesty. Fine. Perhaps <laughs> a small one. Oh, yes. The leader the queen of modesty. To reclaim it, kind of small. I'm nostalgic and petty. What can I say? Oh, uh, well. I tell you the time I became the squat throwing universal champion. Oh, my run as a planetary governor. But I'm yeah. too tired. I'm out of here. The tabs on you, fucko. Nice. One of these days, I swear through the darkest depths of my blackened heart. Cronus in all of its detestable defenders, whoever they are, wherever they are, shall live the final moments of their pitiful existence tasting the unbound wrath of Alephas the Inheritor. Hello, uh, You can't be showing! <laughs> Do not come here with me, worm! <laughs> So, that was some interesting stuff that just happened there. That was, I guess it's uh, Ella Foss. See, I, I've just been saying it wrong. Um, and that was his close combat with the Tau, which was just hilarious. And the inheritor which was quite informational while being hilarious as well so um yeah quite entertaining if you want to go check out Elifaz's stuff uh there is a link in the description so go check it out and uh as for me i'll see you next time willie out if you like the video, stay tuned for more content, and as always feel free to comment. Have a good one.